Anyone who watches DigiRare Reviews know that we have a love for video games. What most viewers may not know is that we have the same amount of love for TV shows. In this video, I'll be going over what we consider to be our top 10 TV shows of all time. Number 10. To kick off our list, we begin with Beavis and Butthead. Created by Mike Judge, the same guy behind King of the Hill, Beavis and Butthead were always good at making us laugh at things that aren't usually funny. It's just good, stupid humor that always brings a smile to our faces. The reboot in 2011 was hilarious, but nowhere near the quality of the original seven seasons. It spun off into Daria, a short-lived but highly acclaimed animated series that unfortunately does not involve Beavis and Butthead. Number 9. We've seen our share of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, but our vote goes to the original with all its Shatner goodness. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. There's just something about the original series that makes us feel all funny in our pants. We may like the show for the same reason people prefer the original Batman series with Adam West instead of the more badass Christian Bale versions. We just love the campiness of it all, and especially the characters to us will never get old, like Scotty, Chekhov, Sulu, Ohura, and especially Kirk and Spock. Number 8. The brainchild of Seth MacFarlane never ceases to make us laugh. It's almost 15 years since it began, and it shows no signs of slowing down. The series centers around the Griffin family and their misadventures in the fictional town of Quahog, Rhode Island. Family Guy is able to tell a multitude of jokes and then bring it all back home through an emotional moment or dialogue. The show is just brimming with memorable characters like Peter's neighbors Quagmire, Cleveland, who left the show to start his own spinoff, which is now over, and Joe, Peter's handicapped police officer friend who's voiced by the always hilarious Patrick Warburton. Number 7. What else is there to say about The Simpsons? It's the longest running animated series and one of the longest running television series of all time, with over 500 episodes and 26 seasons as of this recording. The show follows The Simpsons family that's comprised of Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie Simpson. One of the show's strengths is the sheer amount of other characters that fill up the town of Springfield. There's Flanders, Reverend Lovejoy, Groundskeeper Willie, Chief Wiggum, Mo the Bartender, Mr. Burns and Smithers, and many, many more. This show almost has many this show almost has as many characters as it does episodes. Number six. Alright, back to a live action show. Frasier is the incredibly successful spin-off to the 80s and early 90s hit sitcom, Cheers. We here at DigiRare Reviews really enjoy Cheers, but not nearly as much as we do Frasier. This show follows the adventures of radio psychiatrist Frasier Crane after he's moved back to Seattle to live among his family that was only mentioned in Cheers. There's his father Martin, who's the complete and total opposite of Frasier and his brother Niles. Frazier's brother Niles is also a psychiatrist, but instead of being on the radio, Niles has his own practice, something he always holds over Frazier's head. Frazier is also known for having the most Emmy wins for a sitcom, at a grand total of 37. The only show that comes close is The Mary Tyler Moore Show, with 29. Number 5. King of the Hill has always been a big part of our lives here at DigiWare Reviews. It was created by Mike Judge, remember that guy? It centers around the Hill family in the fictional town of Arlen, Texas. The Hill family is comprised of Hank, Peggy, and Bobby Hill, with Hank's niece Luann taking up space in his den for the first couple of seasons. Hank is also joined by his best friends Dale Gribble, Bill Dotrieve, and Boomhauer. All of his friends have their own unique personality, and really tie the show together. King of the Hill may not make it to our number one spot overall, but it is our number one animated show of all time, and comes highly recommended. Number six. 
Number four. The only show on our list to hail from Canada, Trailer Park Boys has been consistently hilarious with its original seven season run and the reboot with the eighth season on Netflix and a ninth on the way in 2015. Trailer Park Boys deals with the misadventures of the community of the Sunnyvale Trailer Park, a fictional trailer park in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. There's Ricky, Julian, Bubbles, Mr. Leahy, Randy, J-Rock, Cyrus, Trevor, and Corey. All of these characters are very different and really bring their own unique personalities to the show to make it one of the funniest and most interesting shows we've ever seen. The series also spawned three big budget movies. We'd recommend watching the series before the movies, but only to get more of the backstory and to better understand the humor. Number three. The number three spot goes to the show with the most watched series finale of all time. Of course, we mean MASH. MASH was created during the early 1970s, but takes place during the Korean War of 1950 to 1953. Although it takes place in a war that happened almost 20 years prior, the show was meant to parallel the Vietnam War that was going on at the time. MASH was also the first show to kill off a main character early in the series and then stay consistently popular afterwards. MASH was able to blend humor and the seriousness of war to make one of the most memorable and best television shows of all time. Number 2. This may come as a surprise, but we here at DigiRare Reviews can't get enough of the Golden Girls. What we consider to be the best show of the 1980s, the Golden Girls revolves around the lives of four elderly women living in Florida. There's Dorothy and her mother Sophia, Rose, and Blanche. Each of the four women are drastically different and have their own unique personalities. Dorothy is a firm, somewhat abrasive substitute school teacher. Rose is a dimwit who never ceases to tell a different story of her hometown St. Olaf in probably every episode. Blanche, in her eyes, is a stunningly beautiful woman who's capable of beguiling any man she sees. And Sophia is Dorothy's mother. In the beginning of the series, it is explained that Sophia suffered a stroke and is incapable of censoring what she says, making her one, if not the funniest character on the show. The Golden Girls unfortunately spawned a not-so-good spin-off titled The Golden Palace, but the less said about that show, the better. To recap, so far, number 10 we have Beavis and Butthead, number 9, Star Trek the Original Series, number 8, Family Guy, number 7, The Simpsons, number 6, Frasier, number 5, King of the Hill, number 4, Trailer Park Boys, number 3, MASH, and number 2, Golden Girls. And finally, our number one show of all time, is Norman Lear's controversial 1970s sitcom, All in the Family. A show of pure perfection, it involves the Bunker family as they live in Queens, New York in the 1970s. There's Archie Bunker, the family patriarch, whose sayings often, often get him accused of being a racist. Edith Bunker, Archie's devoted wife, who often sticks by his side in a family argument. Their daughter Gloria Bunker, who married liberal Mike Stivick, who is nothing short of Archie's punching bag. All in the Family manages to make us laugh every episode using mostly one set and four main characters, all of whom won an Emmy for their performance. This show held the record for being at number one in the Nielsen ratings for five consecutive years from 1971 to 1976, only to have that record tied by The Cosby Show and then eventually beaten by American Idol. Nonetheless, it's extremely hard to express in words how much we love this show and how much it means to us. It simply is pure perfection. We're not big fans of the continuation of the series in the sitcom Archie Bunker's Place, which amazingly lasted for four seasons, but we digress. Number 